Well, I'm now delighted to be joined by AAA uh, President Leith uh, Mullings. Uh, Leith, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us today. And thank you for having me. Uh, tell us a little bit about the, the public education project that you're, you're pulling together on uh, immigration and migration. Well, as anthropologists, we feel that anthropological knowledge is really important for the world today and we are thinking about ways to get it out there so that ordinary people can take advantage of it. And we have one public education project on race, and that's a traveling museum exhibit. So we're uh, about to put together another project, and this is on mobilities, migration, and displacement, because we feel the issue of migration is a really pressing issue in today's world and anthropologists have a lot to say about it. We have four fields in anthropology, archaeology, which tells us about the history of movement. We have physical anthropology, which talks about the physical effects on people, a diet change, population mixture. And we have cultural anthropology that tells us about people's experiences when they migrate and move. And we have uh, linguistic anthropology, which tells us what happens with language. What, what are the goals of the project? The goals of the project are to get the public to see the issue of movement and migration in a much broader context than they see it now. Now people, especially in the United States, tend to see it in a very immediate way. And that's true in Europe as well. And there's a lot of um, very charged rhetoric, negative rhetoric xenophobic rhetoric around migration and immigration. We hope to show that people have been moving around since uh, 150,000 BC and that uh, people move for different reasons, people have different experiences, there are different types of migration, there's forced migration such as trafficking or slavery, there are migrations as a result of trade network, and we'd really like people to understand it in this broader context. Do you think, I mean, my final question would be, uh, as you say, it's a very contentious uh, subject uh, all over the world, but particularly in America uh, uh, right now. Do you feel that this work will be able to influence the public policy debate? We hope so. Uh, we are making a real thrust to get anthropology out there at all levels, policy makers, politicians, and the general public and we hope to ha uh, create several formats, uh, curricular materials, traveling exhibits, social, social interactive media, uh, to be able to influence what people are thinking. Well, thank you very much indeed for joining us. We really appreciate it and good luck with the project. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.